Good day class, this is Ma'am Renz again and we are now on the third quarter chemistry. Welcome to science time again. We are now on module 4 for the third quarter and the title is Physical and Chemical Changes. This is the pattern on how you're going to write the answers on your ISN or answer sheet. So you start it with pretest and then end it with process by following this pattern flashing on your screen. For our most essential learning competencies, we have to explain physical changes in terms of the arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. And these are the following objectives. Number one, present how water behaves in different states in a water cycle. Two, define chemical change operationally and cite the different evidences of chemical change. Three, explain how chemical change affects the chemical composition of a material. 4. Create a chart, map, or table showing the similarities and differences of physical and chemical change. Place concrete examples for each change. Now let's start with a simple 5 item pretest. Let me read to you question number 1. Which is not a phase change? A. Sublimation. B. Solidification, C. Condensation, or D. Fermentation. Number 2. The water vapor that has condensed in the air to form clouds can return to earth in the form of blank. A. Condensation, B. Evaporation, C. Precipitation, or D. Transpiration. Number 3. Which of the following is a chemical change? A. Gold made into jewelry. B. Alcohol diffuses after an R. C. Spoilage of food. Or D. Crushing a soda can. Next, number 4. Which is not evidence of chemical change. A. Evolution of light. B. Formation of precipitate. C. Evolution of gas. D. Melting of substance. Next, number 5. Amelie observes a tablespoon of white sugar as it is heated and burns. She concludes that a chemical reaction has occurred. Which of the succeeding observations about the burning sugar provides evidence of a chemical reaction? A. There is a formation of a new substance. B. There is a change in taste. C. There is a change in color. Or D. All of the above. If you're through answering, let's check. For number one, the correct answer is D, fermentation. Number two, it's C, precipitation. Three, it's C, spoilage of food. Four, it's letter D, melting of substance. Five, it's D, all of the above. Okay. Now, let's proceed. Again, you have to answer these um, questions below for the looking back. So, you have to identify the process presented in the state formation. So, there are uh, given answers already from A to F. You just have to write it, uh, the correct letter for each number. Let's start now. So, just for a brief introduction, we are already familiar 
uh, what matter is and its different kinds. Now, all these may undergo changes that naturally occur on their own. They may transpire in chemical laboratories and industries. Even in our homes, we do simple activities involving changes. This may either be physical or chemical changes, which we already discussed on the previous uh, lesson. So, for those who are not yet uh, done watching our, our YouTube video lesson from module 1, 2, and 3, you may do it uh, later after this to freshen up. Uh, physical change is a transformation in appearance only of the material but not in composition. So, yung physical lang na ano yung nababago, hindi yung lahat-lahat sa kanya. Yun pa din yun. It stays the same. Now, the water cycle involves physical change or phase change. This is very evident in our environment, yung water cycle. No? So, bata pa lang tayo, elementary pa lang tayo, or kahit hindi pa tayo nag-aaral, we already experiencing water cycle from time to time. Water is a very familiar substance that can also exist as ice. Water is in liquid form, whereas ice is in solid form. Or, it can also be existing as what as vapor, okay, which is a gas. Like other substances, it can also exist in three physical phases, such as solid, liquid, and gas. So, ganun ang evolution ng water natin. No? Still, water pa din. This module will explain the water series and process of transformation from liquid to gas, gas to solid, solid to liquid, liquid to solid, gas to solid, and solid to gas. So, baliktaran lang yung mga yan. nag exchange lang yung mga formation ng, or transformation rather, ng mga states of matter, which we call phase changes under physical change. Now, for the chemical change, uh, this is a change not only in appearance, but also in composition there is a formation of a new substance whose characteristics are different from the original. Now, aside from the creation of a new substance, there are other indications when a chemical change has taken place. What are those signs or indications of a chemical change? Now, in this module, you will find those pieces of evidences. It also describes that matter undergoes changes that normally take place in nature, Yan, madalas naman kasi sa nature talaga din natin nakikita yan. And those that we purposely bring about. So, kung nag, nasa laboratory tayo, or may in-experiment tayo at home, makikita pa din natin siya. They include changes that we recognize because they are important in our life. So, napakahalaga ng matter, napakahalaga ng face changes, physical changes, even chemical changes. No? Uh, di, di lang natin um na-appreciate kasi di natin uh, alam na ah, oo nga no, ito pala siya nakikita natin siya, oh yun nga yun ba? so ngayon, mas maiintindihan na natin na nandyan na pala sila sa tabi-tabi present na siya palagi now let me show you the process of water cycle let's watch this <music>
Now, uh, those arrows that you see in different colors shows the different process of water cycle. So, sana nasundan nyo yung iba't ibang changes na nagaganap sa ating water cycle or sa ating environment using the given animation. Now, let's m go further with this discussion about water cycle. So, I have here um, a different uh, water cycle processes. So, let's start. So, assuming that this is a environment na malapit sa dagat, no? Or any bodies of water. W the water cycle. Assuming that you are watching a movie about the movement of water molecules in bodies of water. We see energetic molecules of water successfully escaping into the air. That's the wonderful moment of evaporation. Seeing the water molecules of water vapor being blown by the wind, then strike one another. As they collide in the atmosphere and in contact with a cold surface, it turns back to liquid form which is called condensation. These water droplets became bigger forming clouds until they become too heavy and fall to the earth's surface through the process of precipitation. Yung precipitation natin, sometimes it's, it's snow. Okay? Kasi pag sobrang lamig na, yun na condense na, na water droplets doon sa clouds na nabuo, nag-freeze yung water. So, instead of rain, snow yung papatak in a process called precipitation. Now, we normally call it as rain. Okay, yun yung usual. In the other part of the world, where the temperature is too cold, again, the snow forms. When tiny ice crystals in the clouds unify together, they will become heavy enough to fall to the ground. Deposition, ayan, yung deposition sa mountains, nakikita natin sa picture, Deposition happens when the snowballs drifting down the sky, they fell softly and silently cover the top of the mountain. As the earth revolves around the sun, the air becomes dry, then the frozen water going directly from the ice to water vapor, and the process is known as sublimation. It occurs in only certain weather conditions. When the sun shines, the snow melt runoff in some areas yun, ah. Then the melted water flow on the land surface. Some water can seep into the ground into the process of infiltration where the plant intake the water from the soil absorbed by the roots so yun na yung iniinom ng uh, mga roots ng halaman the water in the plants can be transferred into the as atmosphere in a process of transpiration so yun yung paghinga ng halaman next percolation is the movement of water into the deeper layer or layers of the soil until it reaches the groundwater. So, doon na naiipon yung tubig. No? Kaya may mga source tayo ng underground water. So, lahat ng yan ay palagi ang nagaganap sa ating environment. That's the process of water cycle. Now, after 
understanding and analyzing the illustration of water cycle, you may now answer activity 1. So, meron naman tayo ditong word bank, then kayo na yung maglalagay dun sa paragraph ng tamang sagot. So, sundan nyo lang yung video kanina and yung illustration ng water cycle. For activity 2 naman, this is chemical changes. So, sundan nyo lang yung mga yung data dun sa table. Then, answer the, the table itself and then the guide questions. For the evidences of chemical change, meron tayong lima. No? Last time, lima din. And then, let me read to you again to freshen up the concepts. Evidences of chemical change. Certain indications can tell you when a chemical change has taken place. A chemical change is indicated by a change in intensive properties such as color, odor, and taste. Other signs are the following. 1. Evolution of heat and light. Nandito din papasok yung inaral natin last time na temperature change ya, kasi may heat na involve. Eh. Now, when fuel burns, light energy usually accompanies the release of heat. Kaya, they go together heat and light. When a camera bulb flashes, its energy is released as light. Ayun pala yung nangyayari. Next, number 2, evolution of gas. Sa evolution of gas, nandito na rin papasok yung last time na inaral natin na change in intrinsic properties, uh, kabilang yung odor. Kasi nga, yung evolution of gas, syempre, gas yun, maaamoy natin pag nag-diffuse siya. Now, the release of gases is an evidence of a chemical reaction. 3. Formation of precipitate or solid matter. And the development of solid when two solutions are mixed. Yun yung formation of precipitate natin. Next, number 4. Production of mechanical energy. This is illustrated by the explosion of dynamite. So, pwede din naman yung fireworks, no? Kasi sinisindihan natin siya. Next, production of electrical energy. This is illustrated by the electricity produced by the battery of a car or a flashlight. Kasi di ba yung, yung batteries natin na sa loob nun may mga chemicals na nagko-convert from chemical to electricity. So, may chemical change na, hap, na nangyayari inside those batteries. Now, after that, since na fresh na kayo, uh, you may now proceed answering activity number 3, evidences of chemical change. So, ito lang yon yung limang yan, na nagpa-flash screen nyo. Nandyan din yan sa module nyo, of course. Next, remember, o oh, wag nyo kakalimutan yan, baso, basahin nyo lang to na um, yung water cycle, tinatawag din siyang hydrologic cycle. Hydro means water. So, this is a cycle that involves a continuous circulation of water in the earth atmosphere system. The change in phase form from liquid to gas is called evaporation or vaporization. Yun din yung isa pang term. The change in phase from gas to liquid is condensation naman. While the sublimation is the change from solid to gas without passing through liquid form. So, nakita natin kanina dun sa mountain, di ba? Uh, nagyayelo yung mountain tapos yun, diretso siya nagsasubline hindi na siya, instead na magmelt siya sa sobrang lamig niya diretso siya nagiging gas yung sa mga mountain cups natin kapag may snow cups doon I mean pag winter time sa ibang bansa yun a deposition is the direct solidification of vapor by cooling uh, the reverse of sublimation. So, baliktaran lang naman yan. Deposition. So, yun yung, yun yung, bakit nagkakaroon ng mountain uh, snow caps? Kasi, yung mga gases na malalamig nyo sa tuktok ng bundok, lalo na pag winter nga dun sa ibang bansa, hindi na siya nag-liquid form. Diretso siya nagsusolidify, tapos kumakapit siya dun sa tip ng bundok. So, deposition yun. Next, transpiration is the process of giving of water vapor through the pores of stomata. So, yung mga dahon natin, may mga pores yan. Ang tawag doon, stomata. So, doon sila 
uh, nagta-transpire or I mean dun nagaganap yung transpiration yung paglalabas ng water vapor no next precipitation is a deposit of water in either liquid or solid form yun na yung uh, rain, snow, ayan pag bumagsak na siya sa earth infiltration is the process by which water on the ground surface goes into the soil then magkakaroon ng plant, in, plant intake okay then percolation is defined as the slow movement of water through the pores in soil or permeable rock going deep into the ground so dun siya may imbak sa ground sa ilalim physical change is a change of matter that occurs without changing the composition of matter so pag hindi naman na bago yung yung composition yung pagkatao or identity ng isang matter or object physical change lang yun including dun yung phase change kasi state of matter lang naman yung binabago ayan uh, remember that remember that physical change is maybe reversible so for example a melted ice cube can be frozen again then return to its solid form so physical change in a physical change no substances with different composition are formed a physical change does not affect the attractive force between atoms or molecules of a substance so walang walang ano dito um bond tama bonding walang chemical bonding kasi physical change nga in chemical change a change in the chemical structure of matter ito na yon yung yung may mga bonding na no and may five evidences of chemical change is usually irreversible hindi na maibabalik pa like in the burning of food hindi na siya magiging wood kasi ash na siya eh in a chemical change also new products are created naalala na nyo yung inaral natin last time yung may reactants and products no so yun that makes the chemical change process irreversible chemical change has direct effect on the attractive force of atoms between molecules in a substance so yung chemical bonding na tinatawag under siya ng chemical change uh, both physical change and chemical change the substances in both processes change. O, oh, yun. Pares may changes. Yun nga lang, physical yung isa, chemical yung isa. Anong connection ng energy dito? Uh, energy is always liberated or absorbed when chemical or physical changes happen. So, laging may adding of heat, absorbing of heat, releasing, uh, removing, yan, yung energy. Energy is required to melt the ice and energy is required to boil water sa physical change yun, as well as chemical change, di ba? Uh, what else? Other examples. The condensation of steam to form liquid water always releases energy. The same thing happens in the phasing of liquid. So, energy is always present. Alam naman natin yan, kasi inaral na natin yan sa ating physics on first quarter. Then, you may now answer, check your understanding. So, sundan nyo lang yan, anong pinagkaparehas ang physical and chemical change. Then, yung dalawang dulo, ano yung differences nila. So, para siyang Venn diagram, no? Then, answer the reflection. And now, let's proceed with post-test. Let me read to you. Number one. Water exists in three states of matter and continuously moving through a cycle on earth. At which stage in water cycle does water transform from a gas to liquid? A. Evaporation B. Condensation C. Precipitation or D. Sublimation Carbon dioxide forms when coal burns in presence of oxygen. Which of the following best this best evidence that a chemical reaction occurs a chemical occurs when coal burns a production of mechanical energy b production of electricity a new substance is produced d formation of precipitate
Next number three. Which of these does not happen during a chemical change? A. New substances are formed with different chemical properties. B. Attractive force between atoms of molecule formed or break. C. Chemical properties of substances before and after the reaction are the same. D. Energy is always released or absorbed. 4. A granular substance is added to a liquid. Which of the following would supply evidence to propose a chemical change has taken place? A. The granules dissolve completely. B. The liquid gives off heat. C. The volume of liquid increases. D. The granules become smaller. 5. Which of the following does not indicate a chemical change is occurring? A. Formation of precipitate. B. Color change. C. Evolution of gas or bubbles. Or D. Phase, phases of matter change. If you're done, let's check the post-test. For number 1, correct answer is B, condensation. Number 2, it's C, a new substance is produced. Next, number 3. Correct answer is C, the chemical properties of the substances before and after the reaction are the same. Number 4, the liquid gives of heat. Number 5, D, phases of matter change. So for number 4 is B, the liquid gives a fit, and 5, it's D, phases of matter change. I hope you learned something again this time about the water cycle and how it is very important in our environment, no? lalo na sa pagbabalanse ng ating temperature and then pag meron pa kayong mga confusion and other questions do not forget to chat your teacher on your respective section GCs have a nice day and bye